Attention Globeville residents. This is a community notification of a new sexually violent predator in your area. Please stay tuned to the following short program for more information. Hi, I'm Technician Ron Hackett with the Denver Police Department. The Sex Offender Registration and Compliance Unit at DPD is responsible for the registration, monitoring, and tracking of all registered sex offenders and sexually violent predators who live in the city and county of Denver. Here's a brief history of sex offender legislation in Colorado. Our state laws trickle down from federal government mandates. In 1994, we had the Jacob Wetterling Act, which mandated that states would establish a sex offender list. Megan's Law of 1996 said that the public would have access to those sex offender registration lists. The Pam Lichner Act of 1996 stated that some offenders might have to have lifetime registrations. And the Adam Walsh Act of 2006 unified sex offender laws across the country. In Colorado, the legislature has determined that sexually violent predators, by definition, pose a higher risk to the community at large and therefore mandated that upon their release from the Department of Corrections, the community must be notified. Sex offender notification in Colorado happens in two ways. The first is passive and ongoing through the sex offender registration process, which is a list maintained by local police departments. The second way is active via community notification for those offenders determined to be sexually violent predators by the courts or by the parole board. Most sex offenders in Colorado are supervised by the criminal justice system in our communities. Most sex offenders engage in crossover behavior, which means they may have been arrested for one type of crime, but be apt to commit another. Many sex offenders have no criminal history at all prior to their arrest. There is no typical sex offender, but all tend to be deceptive, manipulative, and secretive. 80 to 93% of sex offenses are committed by someone known to the victim. Sexual deviancy begins in mid to late adolescence. Sex offenses are not impulsive. They are usually carefully planned, and most sex offenders are male. The community has a vested interest in helping offenders to be successfully managed in the community. Sex offenders have the same need for housing and employment as any other citizen. Any citizen who uses sex offender information to harass, threaten, or intimidate an offender will be subject to criminal prosecution. There are approximately 16,500 registered sex offenders in the state of Colorado. About 65% of convicted sex offenders are placed in the community on probation. The remainder are in the Department of Corrections or Community Corrections. Offenders may be caught for one type of offense, but be at a high risk to commit another type. Crime of conviction is only one indicator of risk. A sexually violent predator must register with the Denver Police Department Sex Offender Registration Unit every three months for the rest of their life. The offender's residence must be verified quarterly by the Denver Police Department. The full sex offender registration list is available by calling the Denver Police Department Identification Bureau at 720-913-6756. Convicted felons and those with multiple convictions are posted online at denvergov.org slash police. Remember, Sexually violent predators do not represent all dangerous sex offenders. The community notification process and sex offender registration are not a complete deterrent to sexual assault. Now, here's a look at the newest sexually violent predator living in Denver. Here's an overview of the registered sex offenders currently living in Denver. There are 2,335 total living within city limits. In Denver Police District 1, there are 265. Precinct 112 has 31 registered sex offenders. Of those, 16 have felony convictions and 15 have misdemeanor convictions. Ronald Eugene Noel is a sexually violent predator currently living in Denver. He's 54 years old and was born on November 10, 1961. He's a white male, 5 feet 9 inches tall, 240 pounds, with brown hair and blue eyes. He's currently a transient living in the 5100 block of Emerson Street in the Globeville neighborhood of Denver. Schools located within one mile of this offender include Garden Place Elementary at 4425 Lincoln Street. Parks located within one mile of this offender include Northside Park, Heron Open Space. Recreation centers located within one mile of this offender include Stapleton Rec Center at 5090 Broadway. Bus routes located within one mile of this offender include Route 12, Washington Street. A brief history of charges against this offender. First degree attempted sexual abuse on a child. He's not currently on parole or probation, 
and registered with the Denver Police Department on May 16, 2016 as a transient living in the 5100 block of Emerson Street in the Globeville neighborhood of Denver. Past charges against this offender include criminal possession of dangerous drugs, failure to register as a sex offender, DUI, DWAI, numerous traffic offenses. Ronald Eugene Noel has been determined a sexually violent predator after meeting the following criteria. Criteria 1, age 18 or older on the date of the offense or under 18 and tried as an adult. The offender was age 37 at the time of the offense. Criteria 2, the crime must have been committed on or after July 1, 1997 and convicted on or after July 1, 1999. Crimes include sexual assault, felony unlawful sexual contact, sexual assault on a child, sexual assault on a child by a person in a position of trust. The offender was convicted on January 20, 2000 for first-degree attempted sexual abuse on a child. Criteria 3, the relationship to the victim was one of the following. Victim was a stranger to the offender, or the offender established or promoted a relationship with the victim primarily for the purpose of sexual victimization. The victim was a six-year-old female. The offender was known to the victim. Criteria 4. Positive results are the passing of a risk assessment instrument administered by probation parole staff and a qualified treatment evaluator. Positive results include an assessment for the presence of a mental abnormality, a level of denial regarding the offense, treatment appropriateness and motivation, presence of sexual deviant interests. The offender was evaluated by the Oregon Board of Parole with positive results, determining him to be a sexually violent predator.